For both of you, yeah. Our press conference today is the Plaintiff Secretary of State, the political affairs. I emphasize that it would be particularly useful at this juncture to renew our dialogues on human rights, security, and nonproliferation questions, as well as to reschedule visits by senior Chinese and American officials that were recently postponed. I underscored our belief that resuming these dialogues would help return the relationship to a more positive footing. I also observed that two great powers, such as China and the United States, should have ambassadorial rep representation in their respective capitals in order for them to maintain a constructive exchange of views. We began discussion of the possibility of such a meeting and what uh, it would be useful for the two presidents uh, to discuss if, uh, if they did hold uh, such a meeting. Again, there's been no decision with respect to that meeting, but because President Jiang Zemin is coming to the United States at the end of October, we uh, began at least a preliminary discussion of what the elements uh, going into that meeting would be and uh, what would constitute a successful preparation for, for a good outcome at that meeting. I think the Chinese in the conversations uh, with me, especially about Taiwan, made clear how seriously they regarded the issue that we've been talking about for the next, uh, uh, for the last couple of months. And uh, we did not uh, receive any demands. We did not receive any threats. I think the Chinese, uh, again, used the occasion of my visit to uh, express the seriousness uh, of their reaction. And uh, I also had ample opportunity to explain the rationale, the circumstances. Again, this was not an area in which we bridged uh, many differences. But uh, I think it was a unique opportunity to understand better the attitudes in both, uh, in both Beijing and Washington. And uh, for that reason, I think that uh, communication on this issue is better without, uh, as I say, bridging uh, some fundamental differences. As you know, Mrs. Clinton is leading the U.S. delegation to China to participate in the Fourth World Conference on Women. In the course of my discussions, I stressed our desire for a successful conference with the most open discussion and widest possible participation by both official delegations and non-governmental organizations on important issues that affect women throughout the world. 